Hi, my name is Peter. I'm an applications engineer at Grok, and I'm going to be taking you through some medical demos using Grok powered LLMs. In medicine, reliability and accuracy are paramount. As you may know, LLMs hallucinate or make up information all of the time. You know, this is a really big issue if you're wanting to use them in a medical context. And as such, uptake of LLMs has been pretty slow in medicine. On top of this, no matter how accurate you make an LLM, a doctor or medical professional is always going to want to be provided referenced or sourced information. They just have to know the source of the information that they're seeing so that they can check and verify it to be sure, period. So what can we do about this? Well, RAG, or Retrieval Augmented Generation, is a technique used for enhancing the output accuracy and reliability of LLMs. By augmenting the input to the LLM with additional information surrounding a query, RAG can both reduce hallucinations and allow the LLM to give referenced responses. So roughly how does it work? Well, we have a database of vector embeddings that represent text-based sources. When a URISA query comes in, we then compute the embeddings of that. We then perform a similarity search between the query embeddings and the database embeddings. The top matches in the database are then returned and we feed those into the input of the LLM. In these demos, we're going to use a vector database that contains 3000 genomics abstracts. The medical abstracts are sourced from the PharmGKB database and contain the clinical guidelines for interactions between the genes and drugs. So, on to our first demo. The gene drug guidelines I mentioned before get updated frequently. And as new research is published, it's important for clin clinicians to stay on top of it. What you're going to see is the genomics database I just mentioned hooked up to our LLM, which in this case is Mixtral. For demonstration purposes, when I input a query, the output will be presented both with and without RAG so that you can see the difference. So let's put in a query. Which gene variants are associated with adjusted warfarin doses? Here are the two outputs, without RAG on the left and with RAG on the right. I mean, if we take a look at the difference between the two outputs, we can see straight away that there is simply a lot more content being presented with RAG. The LLM without RAG also provides a lot less detail and looks as though it's missing some of the gene variants that are being mentioned here. Furthermore, we can see that the LLM response with RAG is providing PubMed links. These are actually the links to the source information that has just been mentioned. And these are live working PubMed links so that the doctor can go away and verify the information that they're seeing straight away. Cool. Now, on to the next demo where we'll use our RAG system in an automated pipeline. Everyone knows what genes are, but processing an entire genome, you know, that's going to be a slow and difficult process. Well, actually today we're going to be using our LLM, in this case, Llama270 billion and RAG to process a genome in real time. So first, a little bit of context. Uh, you can see that it's asking me to upload a VCF file. A VCF file is a variant calling format file, and it's basically a sequenced genome. It shows which variants of a gene someone has. Now, just a second while I upload a file. As you can see, our VCF file has been rendered here on the left, and the important column that we want to look at is the ID column which basically lists all of the person's gene variants. When I uploaded this, we started iteratively processing this VCF file, searching for matches in our database and summarizing the information found at those matches. So we iterate over the IDs, we find matches in our database, we present summaries of the abstract and we present links to the abstract. And as you can see in the time that I've been talking, we have, you know, generated loads of these. Basically, we've used Grok to make someone's DNA readable in real time. These demos really show that there is space for LLMs in a medical setting 
so long as we improve reliability with techniques like RAG. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you.